Laza are made up of five techniques as shown. And now from the end of the bowing to the beginning of Kesagatame. From Kyoshi, the uke takes one step forward and lies down. The tori stands up and assumes Shizen Hontai. He moves towards the uke's right until he's about 1.2 meters away and assumes Kyoshi. This distance is known as Toma. He takes two more steps to be within a 30 centimeter reach of the uke. This is Chikama. The tori moves in and applies Kesagatame. The uke is unable to break the hold and gives the signal for defeat. Mairi, give up. They both resume their positions at the beginning of Kesagatame. The tori returns to Chikama and assumes Kyoshi. Toma is a distance of about 1.2 meters. Chikama is about 30 centimeters. The tori moves slightly forward and traps the uke's right arm in his left armpit. He then slips his right hand under the uke's left armpit, pressing his body against the uke's to apply kesakatame. The uke attempts to escape in three ways, but is unable to get up. He signals Mairi, give up. To signal give up, the uke should either tap the tori's body or the mat twice or kick the floor. Using both hands, the tori traps the uke's right arm in his left armpit. He lowers himself onto his right hip to pass his right hand under the uke's left armpit and place it on the left shoulder. The tori puts his right knee under the uke's right shoulder while bending his left leg, placing the inside of his knee on the mat. He presses his body firmly against the uke and applies the hold. Once the tori has applied the hold by pulling strongly with both hands, the uke tries to escape in three ways. He first tries to twist the tori's left elbow. He then tries to twist his body to insert his right knee between himself and the tori. And finally, he tries to flip the tori over his left shoulder. Although these are the three basic methods of escape, it's possible to try other appropriate methods. Whatever method he adopts, the uke must take advantage of the tori's position to break his hold. Although this technique is now referred to as kuzure kesagatame, it was referred to collectively as kesagatame when the katame no kata were established. From kesagatame to katagatame, Unable to escape from the Kesagatame, the uke signals give up. The tori then retreats to Chikama to apply Katagatame. From Chikama, the tori moves forward a bit more to apply Katagatame. The uke attempts to escape, trying three methods, but is unable to get up and signals give up. To apply the katagatame, the tori uses both hands to push the uke's right arm up and lock the elbow. Pressing against the uke's right cheek, he wraps his arms around the uke and tightens his grip. The tori wraps his right arm around the uke's right arm and neck. He then clasps his hands under the uke to form a cross, the right hand on top. Pressing the uke's right arm against his right cheek, he presses his right knee against the uke's right side, making sure that his instep is off the mat. 
He extends his left leg to the side. Let's look at the Uke's attempts to escape the hold. He attempts three methods, first by pushing up with his elbows, secondly by slipping his knee under the tori's hip, and finally by rolling backward over his left shoulder. to Toma and assumes the kneeling posture, Kyoshi. He stands in Shizen Hontai and turns left to move to the Toma position above the Uke's head. He then moves closer to the Chikama position. The tori applies kamishihogatame. Let's look at the main points of kamishihogatame. The tori slides both hands under the uke's shoulders to grab both sides of his belt. The thumb should be turned inward when grabbing the belt. The tori brings his knees towards the uke's shoulders, feet pressed down. The uke attempts to escape the hold, first by wrapping his arm around the tori's neck to push his head to the side. He then tries inserting his left hand under the tori's arm to twist to the side. Finally, he tries pushing the tori's shoulders up with both hands, slipping his knees between their bodies. This time, note how the tori uses his legs and hips to keep the uke under control. As soon as the uke tries to break loose, the tori presses down with his feet so his instep is off the mat and restrains the uke. Once the uke gives up and the tori can resume the hold, he plants his feet back on the mat. He stands up and assumes Shizen Hontai and then moves to the uke's right and moves in from Toma to the Chikama position. The tori draws near the uke and lifts the uke's right arm with both hands to lay it down to his left. Moving further in, he applies the hold. Now the main points of Yoko Shihogatame. The tori grabs the left side of the uke's belt with his right hand and the left collar with his left. He lowers his hips, making sure that his insteps remain off the floor. Turning his face to the left, he presses down to apply the hold. Let's take a close look at what the tori does with the uke's right arm. He picks up the arm with both hands and lays it down to his left, pressing his left both hands and lays it down to his left, pressing his left knee against the uke's armpit. The tori grabs the belt first with his left hand, thumb inside, and then switches to his right. Now look at what the uke does to escape the hold.
He pushes the left side of the tori's neck with his left hand and attempts to hook the tori's head with his left leg. He twists his hips and tries to slip his right knee under the tori's hips. He grabs the back of the belt with his left hand and tries to flip the tori over. Let's look at it again, taking special note of how the tori responds to the uke's attempts. From Chikama, the tori moves slightly forward and then moves in towards the uke's right shoulder to apply the hold. Take a close look at the tori's grip on the collar. The thumb should be outside. Grabbing the side of the belt with his left hand, the tori presses down with his chest to apply the hold, making sure that his insteps are off the mat. Now let's take a look at the uke's three attempts to break the hold. First of all, he pulls his right arm free and tries twisting to the right. Next, he inserts his left knee between their bodies. And finally, he tries to flip the tori to the left. Let's take another look, this time observing the mechanism of attack and defence. They need to respond to each other precisely. From Chikama, the tori returns to Toma and assumes Kyoshi. The uke gets up and they both readjust their judogi. <laughs> 